this, uh, I don't know if you can hear it, but behind me is the cicada, the dog day harvest fly singing. Let me try to get closer so you can hear that. It's hard to get a little close to the, because of the cicada killers and the birds. There's a lot of birds in my yard, so anything they see that moves, they flee from. That's the sound they make, and different species will have different calls. Some of them will be undulating, you know. Uh, some of them will just be a constant trill. And the dog day harvest fly, in my locale, sounds like that. Not that airplane. August and July are their favorite times of the year because it's the warmest, which is how this creature got its name, dog day harvest fly. Also known as dog day cicada, uh, because the dog days are the hottest days of the summer. So let's, let me try to show you the cicada. Now their wings are really firm, uh, which is interesting, you know, for a flying insect to have such firm wings. I'm gonna get this person out. There we go. Uh, I'm afraid to let go because she'll, I don't know if it's a male or female, I think this is a, a male. Uh, I don't want them to fly away. Here we are, up close. Look at that beautiful creature. Look at that thorax, which is the space between their head and their abdomen, which looks like their back. And you can see these beautifully bright, brilliant gold hairs just glistening in the flashlight. You should see, you should see these during the sunlight, during the day when the sun's out. Brilliant gold. They have nice compound eyes because they're an insect. And you see those bright green wings, the veins in their wings? That's another characteristic of the dog day harvest flies. And this one is, looks like a male because the abdomen doesn't have an ovidepositor, or at least it doesn't look like it does, so I think this is a male. I'm pretty sure the females is more distinctive. And those wings, those lace-like wings, are actually really firm. Uh, you'll hear them slapping across the leaves when they land in a tree or when they're evading a bird or a cicada killer. The males make that noise to attract the females. Uh, it does attract birds and cicada killers and whatnot, but they really, <laughs> their goal is to attract the females so that they can land there and mate. Then the female will use her ovidepositor to basically slice a, a slit into the bark of uh, the stem bark of trees and things, and the twigs and all. And then, she'll actually lay her eggs in it. And once they hatch, they drop out onto the ground, burrow into the ground, and feed on the, the sap and the roots of the pine trees and oak trees. And then, um, when they're ready to come out, you know, as adults, they'll climb up out of the ground, and you'll see that perfectly round hole. Same thickness as this. Almost a, almost a finger's width or circumference. And they'll climb up the first object that they come across. They'll climb up as high as they can, um, or until they're upside down. They'll shed their skin, come out with these wings. It takes them a few hours to harden, and then they're ready to do their thing. And you can see those simple eyes, those little cilla reflecting in that triangle on the forehead. Those are three simple eyes. A lot of insects have them. The cilla are pretty much just used to detect basic light and dark. So if they notice darkness going over them, especially all three, they know that there's a bird or predator above blocking out the sunlight and it's time to flee. Some people think that they get bit by these, by cicadas. I never hear, I've only heard it once. But that's because they have claws at the end of their feet. So if you're nervous, if you're scared of them, you might feel that and, you know, fear that you're about to get bitten or something. But it's just claws so that they can hang on to the bark nice and easily. Now this one's flicking its abdomen to get me to kind of lose my grip. Um, the way they make their noise is really interesting. What they actually do, I'm trying to make it so you can see them better, what these guys actually do is undulate their abdomens. There's two hollow chambers in there with a bit of a, a skin, a membrane over them, and it's kind of like a drum head, and they flex it. You know, they, they contract and expand it continuously. And the hollow chamber actually makes a bit of an echo chamber. It's like an amplifier. And uh, that's how you get the noise. 
So as an adult, these harvest flies don't eat. Um, but that looks a lot like a proboscis, so I gotta figure out if they have nectar or not. Look at those eyes. Really far apart on the head, and then you can see the tiny little antenna at the front of the nose. Maybe I can see them? There's one. See those two antenna? Uh, probably for picking up the females. These guys are sound based. So the male will make that noise and the female will click back in response or fly up to them. There you have it, dog day harvest fly, member of the cicada family. And there's a, a lot of species of cicada worldwide, but these ones are annual. Uh, some of them will come out every three years. Now there's a periodic cicada that comes out every 13 years, and another brood, which is what you call the group that comes out that year, they come out every 17 years. But these ones, these harvest flies, are annual. They come out once a year. There it goes. So, that's about it. I'm gonna sign out now. I'm Chris Ignato. Thanks for watching my video and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And also hit the like button if you like my video. I don't know if I pointed to the right side. It's actually down here somewhere. So, okay. See you later.